Hello and welcome to present value. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. The present value function calculates the present value of a future series of cash flows, like an investment or a loan. But stick around till exercise three. We'll use it to size up two reverse mortgage offers from competing banks, revealing which one's worth more today. Let's get to the first exercise, exercise one. Let's say you're registering for some type of subscription service. In this example, we'll use a gym membership. They give you two options. The first option is pay $1,000 up front for the year. The second is pay $100 a month for the year. So which is the better deal? Well, the better deal is the one that's cheapest, but not in raw dollars. So the question is, how do we compare these given interest? In other words, what's the equivalent value of these two options right now? Well, the good news is Excel can help. We'll use the present value function. What's the present value of a series of future cash flows, like $100 a month? Let's go equals PV, that's present value. The first argument is the rate. So our interest rate is this, but here's the thing. When we work with Excel's financial functions, like the PV function, we need to make sure that all of the time-based elements are consistent. In other words, the rate has to be consistent with the number of periods and the payment. So if the interest is compounded monthly, we would use monthly. If it's annual, we'd use annual. In this case, we're gonna go with monthly. So our annual rate needs to be divided by 12, comma. The number of periods also needs to be expressed in months. So it's the number of years times 12 comma, and the payment is our monthly payment, and that's this amount right here. Close the function and enter. So this is coming back as a negative number. Why is that? Well, these functions operate on a cash flow basis. So the monthly payment is positive, the present value would be negative. And let's just double check something. If I were to assume zero interest, then our present value would be 1200, which is 100 times 12. And that's just kind of a reality check that makes sense. So let's put this back up to 5% and you can modify the interest rate as desired. But what this allows us to do is to compare two options and find out which one is cheaper in today's dollars, $1,000 or $1,168. So what this is saying is everything else being equal, the $1,000 up front is cheaper. Of course, this doesn't consider other factors like inflation, economic conditions, do you have the cash? Would you rather invest this cash somewhere else? And all the other factors. But what this allows us to do is to calculate the present value to compare these two options. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. Now we're gonna take a look at the future value optional argument. The future value argument just lets us set up like a buyout option. For example, if you're doing a car lease. Let's say for example, there's a monthly payment of 100 at 5% interest for one year, with a $200 buyout at the end. Our question is, what's the equivalent value of that in today's dollars? In other words, what's the present value? Once again, we'll use Excel's present value function, equals PV. The rate is this divided by 12. The number of periods is the number of years times 12. The monthly payment is this, comma, and the future value is this close function and enter. So this is saying given interest, the value of that future series of cash flows is 1358.39. Let's go to the next exercise. In addition to these short videos, I also offer formal training. It's built for users at all skill levels. Learn more by using the link in the description. You'll be getting your work done faster than ever. Exercise three. Here, the scenario is, let's say I'm retired and I own my home free and clear. I'm interested in doing a reverse mortgage. If you're not familiar with that, all it means is the banks pay you a fixed monthly amount at a given interest rate for some period of time. And then at the end, when I sell the house or if I unfortunately pass away, they will take the accumulated loan balance out of the proceeds of the home sale. So one bank says they'll give me $1,000 a month at a 5% rate for a period of 10 years. Another bank says they're willing to pay me $1,100 at 6% for 10 years. So the question is, how can we compare these? What's today's value of each of these future series of cash flows? This is exactly when the present value function can help. Again, this doesn't consider other factors like inflation, opportunity costs, investment, macroeconomic situations. This is just a simple way to compare these all other things being equal. So equals PV, the rate is our annual rate divided by 12. The number of periods is this times 12, and the monthly payment is this, 
close function and enter. And then I'm just gonna control C copy and paste this formula to the right. So what this is telling us is this, the present value of bank A's offer is worth 94,000 in today's dollars. The present value of bank B's offer in today's dollars is 99,000. So this is telling me bank B's offers has a higher present value. It's worth more in today's dollars. This is not considered financial advice. Excel University is not a, licensed financial planner or anything like that. Um, this is provided for educational purposes in scenarios that help me teach the present value function of Excel. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. The content of this video is provided for educational purposes only and is not intended to be financial advice.